Now, I don't believe my heart attack symptoms resembled the classic ones, or at least the ones that I know about. There was no sharp pain. There was no, you know, elephant sitting on your chest. It was just really, really uncomfortable. I went out on a run on uh, February 6th of 2022 and came back here and, and jumped in the shower. That's when I started not feeling so good. When I laid down, it was like not being able to breathe at all, almost like being underwater. My arms began to get numb, and then I felt maybe this is really a heart attack. Maybe I'm, I'm having a heart attack now. Honestly, I, I went to my truck put the key in the ignition and sat there for another 10 minutes debating. Literally got out of my truck again before I said, you know what, I better go. I walked into the uh, emergency room and walked up to the desk and said, I don't think I'm having a heart attack, but maybe can you check it out? And in seconds, they literally whisked me back into the, to the emergency room and put me on a gurney and a team of people just, you know, jumped on me and, and began taking care of me. A guy just popped in, looked at me and said, hey, I'm a cardiologist doing rounds. Yes, you're having a heart attack, but we're gonna clear your blockage, put in a stent, you're gonna be fine. The operation to clear my blockage lasted about two hours. They put a catheter in my wrist, cleared out the blockage and then put a stent in. The cardiologist said, basically, you're doing everything right. You're living healthy. Um, you just have bad genes. My grandfather had at least one heart attack. My dad had four, including his last one. So I knew I had a history of heart disease. I think it's really important for me to role model for my kids and my grandkids. The working out that I do, how I eat, I, th I think it's all important to show them that they can live their life. They can have a great life. But you know, there's some responsibility in being healthy as well. Cardio rehab gave me the confidence to work out hard and to build my endurance and, and, and get my heart rate really high without having to worry about something bad happening. I know a bunch of guys that are just like me and we all think we're healthy and, and yeah, we run a little bit here or there, but we, don't, we may not take those signs seriously. I think especially men around my age should understand. Watch out for your health, but enjoy life as well. It doesn't mean it's all over. Being 50 is not a, not a death sentence. It just means you need to pay a little bit more attention to what the doctors say and, and specifically how your body feels. Your physical health and your emotional health are, are really related. A heart attack patient like me can go out and do stuff. It doesn't mean life is over. Live your life, enjoy it, because this could have been the end of me. Just knowing I've done everything I possibly can to be healthy, I think helps a lot.